Nothing. What's good? This is Kieran Evernier for the Kieran Evernier Network, and I'm back for yet another reaction video because there's another one that I have not seen yet. I've been busy making videos, and I never got around to seeing the new Nizu video, Sweet Nonfiction. So let's hop into that and see just what that one's like. All right, let's start it up. Hmm. Oh, God, Rima. Love those outfits already. It's already one of my favorites. Like I've heard the song, I've never seen the video. Whole lot of Mihi screen time. I'm all for that. Oh God, that's a nice outfit. Oh wow, look at me. That's my favorite Nina outfit, easily. Yeah, I leave Rima. They could have did better with me with this outfit. I like the way this whole video is set up. It's pretty cool. So what was all that stuff that I was seeing on like Instagram? The video has nothing like what I've seen. Okay, there's that outfit. There's that outfit. Man, look here. Rico eat stop. <laughs> Love that dance. I question where they come up with the idea for videos like this. There's the outfits out there. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, Riku. <laughs> I forgot how to talk for a few seconds there. Man. Ouch. Who wants to keep it a secret from me? Well, that was, that was very different. <laughs> Like, I wonder, like, between, I would say Chopsticks. Chopsticks had, like, all kind of visual effects going on. Between Chopsticks and this one, I wonder where they come up with the ideas for their videos. It was just always, I feel like that's what's missing in a lot of J-pop groups. And it's probably because uh, they're part of uh, JYP and he's used to making K-pop videos. And as much as I hate to admit it, K-pop is just better at, at videos. And since they got like a K-pop producer helping them with a J-pop group, their videos are seen more, like kind of more higher presentation and more K-pop like. So they come off with these just fantastical ideas for videos like this. And I love that. Like, I don't think they have a single dud video. They always have something just, I don't know what they expect when I go in and watch one of their videos. And I'm like, dang, that was, that was amazing. So yeah, that, that was just, I, I don't, 
Again, how do they think of this stuff? I want I want to see like a behind the scenes and a making of video, but not just like how they made it. But I want like the director who to just sit down and explain what he was thinking when he thought of everything with this video. Because like looking at the lyrics, you can't say it was metaphors for what they were saying and anything. It's just it was some kind of a random fever dream type of something. It, it literally was a fever dream because me he dreamed the whole thing apparently. I guess that's my answer. But yeah. Let me know your comments and the uh, your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time. And while we're waiting, you can go ahead and maybe check out this video, or I personally prefer that one.